and I open my eyes and I see these four kids. Dude, I'm 30. These these kids were barely half my age. I did an opening essay just now or a little while ago here on this this episode about how I am just heart sick at the number of kids who are dying. There are children being murdered in Iran and I'm calling out UNICEF. Where is UNICEF? Do you see, I mean, we're, we're seeing, you know, reports that uh, the average age of the people being arrested, of the boys being arrested, is 15 in Iran. Are you seeing that kind of youth when you are out, when you see the protests, when you see those involved? Is it clear to you that there's a really young cohort involved in this? Um, as heartbreaking as it is to confirm that, um, yes. Uh, yeah, that, that actually does reflect what I've seen myself because uh, that doesn't shock me at all. Because um, can I can I tell you a personal uh, anecdote, just a short thing that happened to me of on course. the first like two days of the protest? Um, I'm you know, I, I, I drive around with a bike because when you're living in Tehran, the traffic is just it makes your car useless. Right. If you want to get anywhere, you have to have a bike. OK. And in the first nights I was just passing by. I, you know, partake in the protests and I was just going home. And before I know it, there were. Uh, I was just running over three uh, of the tear gas canisters, right? And I couldn't see. Like, there was just tears in my eyes. I was, I felt like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. And because I was on a bike, it gets, like, quite dangerous when you're, like, you know, riding around on a bike and all that. And so I just I stopped somewhere, right? And because my eyes were filled with tear, and I think I have a bad reaction to that, to that stuff, um, I... You know, I couldn't see what is happening. Before I knew it, uh, there were four people who took me off my bike, put me down on the ground. One of them gave me a bottle of water. The other one lit up a cigarette and just blew smoke in my face so it, it could just, you know, take the, the effects of the tear gas away and all that. Uh-huh. One of them had this uh, little fan and, and she was just fanning me with it. And I opened my eyes and I see these four kids Dude, I'm 30. These these kids were barely half my age, right? Wow. And all I could see, I was just, I, I was blown away. I was like, the bravery and the uh, the pride I could see in their faces was mesmerizing, my man. It was amazing. I wow. never thought that I would say this, but I, you know, I feel bad for, because, you know, as an older guy, you just, you look at the younger generation and you're like, huh? Oh, this and that you know you, you make fun of them and you say shit i feel such a tremendous shame for doing all of that when i see how brave these kids are it, it brings tears to my eyes man are they aware of how i mean i they, i guess they've got to be aware of how dangerous this is right yeah fully fully but um i mean they know the risks um they know exactly what they're doing I have never seen a more organized um, generation in Iran. But at the same time, the fact that they're doing it, you have to stand in awe, you know? And you just look at them, you're like, dude, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm 30, right? I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I should be the one who is yeah. protecting you and yeah. And, yeah. and trying to like stand in front of a bullet before you guys get hit but but you're doing that for me and you're leading the charges it's just fantastic to see man well it's devastating it's de- hope, it's devastating way. but it's also it's i mean it, what a story